you know, you you know for safety. You know, I wonder when I I saw some people walking, uh, crossing along the uh, express. It's very very bad. There's a, a video that I watched. Goat. Can you imagine? You see a goat passing. He just look look the way moto is moving here and there. He just look pass through pedestrian. And human being cannot pass through pedestrian. It's very very bad. I'm advising our people to use this thing. We don't want to hear government did not do anything. Government have made their own effort. Let's try. Crossing the road at undesignated places is known as jaywalking, and it is punishable by a fine in Sena climbs. But in Nigeria, crossing the road anywhere, anyhow, any day is considered a normal routine for pedestrians. With the recklessness of motorists, motorcyclists, and the volume of traffic on certain roads, many pedestrians who cross these busy roads instead of using the overhead bridges have met their end. There have been many reports of reckless motorists who on a daily basis knock down pedestrians who cross busy highways without using overhead bridges. One of such incidents occurred on Saturday, September 18, 2021. An unidentified middle-aged man was crushed to death by a moving vehicle while crossing the expressway near the popular Banex Junction in Abuja. It was gathered that the young man had almost crossed the road before he was hit by a car which threw him up to another car that crushed him to death leaving his body mangled beyond recognition. An eyewitness identified as Ishaku Abubakar said the two drivers who hit the victim refused to stop. They both fled, leaving the victim in a pool of his blood. This one is crossing. My arrow, the guy is crossing. One car hit him, he no stop, the other one. All hit him, hit him. For inside his head. After that, they never stop. We don't think a woman like them because it's a trauma. You know, get left. You know, get left because it's a trauma. You don't like to steal. But the driver is not stop. The first driver. All of them, all of them wrong. It's all of them. Two cars. That is the only problem. We in a, we in a help us. Because it's a woman being like us. Nobody knows to know. That's why we just steal and to help. To help me, make sure, make sure, me get the people. Do they know the family? They know the family. Uh, no, you know the family. Uh, it's living. In, it's from Jigawa State. It's Banest. Where? Banest. No. Abuja. Abuja. Yeah. Efforts by sympathizers and passers-by to inform the police about the incident proved abortive, which compelled them to take his body to a nearby mosque for burial. It is important to note that the pedestrian bridge was relatively close to where the incident occurred, but many pedestrians preferred to cross the road instead. Also, these pedestrian bridges have been built for safety purposes and to prevent avoidable deaths on the highways, but many still wonder why pedestrians find it difficult to make use of the footbridges instead, they prefer to cross the busy highway, which is very risky. Roots TV team visited a very busy expressway popularly known as Nikon Junction along the Maitama axis. There is also an overhead bridge for pedestrians to use, but we discovered that majority of the road users prefer to cross the busy expressway instead of using the bridge. Speaking with some pedestrians, they argued that it is much faster to cross the road than to use the bridge. Sometimes we prefer crossing when we are late. You know, this one is much easier, but though it's risky, it's dangerous, we know. But sometimes we just quickly cross here, prefer here than the pedestrian. Well, you, by, by the time you climb and cross, and because most times we take our cab from this point, so by the time you walk up here and then you are, you are late, so the minute is still counting for you. So that's why we prefer crossing here, despite the risk we are taking. Because the, the place is very far, if you check the, the distance, it's very far, that is why you see that people cannot move to that place across the bridge. Uh, everything is risky, life is risky. So every, even the motorway they drive is risky. 
But why they sleep? It's risky. We sleep in the night, now risky. Everything is risky. We are all risky in life. So we have to follow it the way it is. They're supposed to move up close to the junction so that people can easily move. That is why. Crossing the road, for me, it seems faster from... The, the bridge is actually farther from where I'm going to. So by the time the stress of climbing the staircase, climbing down, sometimes I get exhausted. So but then I just prefer standing, although it could be riskier, but then um, with precision and more observance, I tend to cross faster and then because it's closer to my destination, the bridge is actually quite far. So that's just the basic reason. Also, we spoke with some persons who used the bridge. They said it's safer considering the amount of accidents that occur on the expressway. I prefer using the fire bridge because of the accident and the conjecture of the car. So when you cross through all that, it's one of the faster way and also shortest way that you can cross easily without you having not any distraction or the car accidents to prevent accidents. So it's one of the safety way for you to cross through the bridge. Pedestra, the President Bridge uh, is more safer. Uh, it's the best way to cross such kind of a uh, high road like this because um, it's very risky. That's the reason why they put it there for us to be able to make use of it for our safety. With a lot of money being used in building modern concrete pedestrian bridges to ease traffic flow and reduce highway knockdown of passers-by crossing the road, these bridges have been reduced to places for buying, selling and begging. Many have opined that a more effective way to ensure that pedestrians use the footbridges is by making public the continuous arrest and prosecution of offenders who cross highways.